Hi, this is Matt Patron, one of your Odella onboarding coaches, and this tutorial is going to focus on how to use the offline tracker. So what is the offline tracker? The offline tracker is a way for you to input time into the Odella computer for when your student is actually not on the computer. So there's educational activities that are taking place when a student's away from the machine. So let's talk about how to do that. So what I'm going to do first is I'm actually going to click on my course card for orientation. And you'll have that offline tracker in any course. So you can go into any course and add offline time. Sometimes teachers will assign activities that a student has to do offline. And that's why you would use this offline tracker. So let's take a look at it. If I scroll down here from my navigation, I'm going to see home, syllabus, modules. You may have to scroll down a little bit more because you may see some other options here, but I'm going to click on offline tracker. And what we're going to see here is an activity log for all the offline activities that have been entered for this particular student. So you'll see flashcard practice, SAT prep, virtual museum visit, an exercise log. All of these activities have been done away from the Odella machine. So let's take a look at how to add to a current entry. So I entered this flashcard practice yesterday. So I'm going to click on it. And you'll see that I did this on Wednesday, August 5th. I did my practice and I spent an hour and I submitted it. I could edit it here if I want to, or I could delete it, but I'm actually going to add more time to it. Maybe after the activity had concluded, I decided to add another hour of flashcard practice that evening. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the date and I'm going to say I did this on August 5th and it defaults to 2 a.m. So I'm gonna go later in the evening and I did this at 6.30 p.m. I spent another hour on my flashcards. Did more flashcard practice because I really needed it. And again, I was away from my Odella computer as I was doing it. So I'm gonna click Submit and you'll notice it added the activity right below my, or actually right above my other activity. So you'll see both of those here, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click this back arrow and notice how it just has the status of submitted. If the time was approved, I would see this check mark or if it was not approved, and this is done by the teacher, I would see not approved. So this is a way to supplement more time into the system. If there's ever a day where maybe you don't hit that full five hours online, you can always come in here and add that extra time. So if I take a look up top, you noticed we've already talked about how to add to an existing log. So we're going to talk about now how to add a new activity. So I'm going to click log offline time up here in the upper right corner. And you'll notice it comes up with a list of assigned activities from my teacher. So I could select any one of these and actually add time to it. It also has my created activities, which is really neat. So the flashcard practice you saw me just do is there my virtual museum visit and my SAT prep. But we're not going to actually add to an existing log. We're going to create our own. So what we're going to do is we're going to click create new activity. And before I do that, I do want to show you that as more entries are added, you'll be able to scroll up and down through those. So this one doesn't have enough entries yet to do that scroll because uh, there's not enough. But notice this one up here, I can actually scroll through and find the activity. So I am going to create my new activity. 
And the activity name for this one, let's say, let's say I did some reading. So I'm going to say red to kill a mockingbird. <clears throat> And this activity was done away from my computer. Let me see here in the activity type if there's something that closely matches that. Odella sponsored field trip. And there is reading book slash material. So I can select that there from the pre-made list. And let's say I did that on August 7th. Now today is August 6th. So I'm going to click on August 7th and maybe I did that. Maybe I'm going to just say I did that at 2 a.m. I was up late that night. Okay. And what's going to happen here? Notice it gave me a red border around the start time. And it says my start time must be before the current date and time. So what that's telling me is I can't log time into the future. I can only log time on a day that's already passed or on the current day. So I'm going to go ahead and click August 6th here. I'm still going to say I did it at 2 a.m. And I'm going to say I spent an hour. I read a book. And I'm going to click Submit. OK. And notice it's added Red to Kill a Mockingbird here. Thursday, August 6th at 2 a.m. And if I go back, look, it's up here at the top and it's waiting approval by my teacher. So this has been a tutorial on the offline tracker. I hope you find it useful. If you have any questions, please let us know. Thank you so much for watching.